I totally felt like uh, Mike Delgadio there. <laughs> I'm not going to do his intro, though. Welcome back to the Rebel Tech Channel. I'm Justin, and in this video, we are in the booth right now. Booth 2.0. Well, that's really 4, but 2.0. 2.0. Oh, is that how it looks there? Yeah, that's how it looks there. All right, so the plan is for a couple of videos that I have in the future is taking microphones that I've used and covered in the past and using post-processing with them in a mostly vocal setup, mostly with voiceover setup specifically. Maybe I'll get into singing. I'm not much of a singer myself. Maybe I could get some people to help me out. We'll see. But vocals, voiceover vocals, will be the kind of the focus on these EQs, compressions, and everything videos. So in this video, we have the AT2020, a very classic, very popular introductory condenser microphone for anyone looking to do voiceover work, gameplay, let's play. Uh, just content creation in general. It's a great microphone for anyone starting out, which I had this starting out. This was one of my first microphones when I was working with gameplay and uh, my first videos making online and things like that. So I know this microphone very well. I've had this one specifically for, I think, seven years or so, like 2015 or so I bought it, like maybe even 2014. I can't remember when exactly, but I've had it for a while, and I know this microphone better than any one that I own. Which is a good way to start off this series, because I know this microphone so well, I can manipulate it how I like it. Now, there are many ways to EQ microphones, there's many ways to do it, and many different styles and tones that you could look for and manipulate to get it. And if you've seen my videos about the AT2020 comparisons and everything like that, I talk about the, this microphone being very flexible in the sense of being able to manipulate it how you want. All right, so we are in Premiere Pro right now. I'm using Premiere Pro because I had everything set up there anyway. Also, the fact that the EQ here, the parametric EQ, can translate to most EQs you would see on any DAW, uh, be it Audition or... Pro Tools or whatever it may be, these parameters are usually in every single one. It will fluctuate depending on the quality, depending on the style, but for the most part, these numbers will translate pretty well. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go into what I have here. And I have two examples. And if you saw my stream on the 23rd, I recorded another one and I gave it an example. And I also went over the one that I recorded for this video as well. So this one here, the EQ that you're seeing, is for the Edgar Allan Poe one that I just said, and I just did. Then, I did a reading from the Five Nights at Freddy's book. I did that on stream, and I did my own EQ for that as well. But we'll get into the specific EQ for that after we do the Edgar Allan Poe one. Now, the other difference is... The Edgar Allan Poe one was done in the booth. This one, the Five Nights at Freddy's one right here, it was done as you see it right here. Maybe changed a little bit in it was on a mic stand, but it was basically literally right here. If you saw the live stream, you basically saw that. All right, so we're going to go through each part of this and show you how it changes the tone. And I will admit it's very subtle. Which, I will preface all this saying, if you record everything as close as you can to what you want it to sound like, and as close as the final product is going to be, the easier this is going to be, and the less work you're going to have to do, and the less processed it sounds. Processed, quote unquote. And you can see here, there's no more than 2.2 decibels of change. And this maiden, she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. All right, so there's your idea of how it sounds naturally. Of course, I have the whole thing, and we'll listen to the whole thing when it's all done. But we're going to listen to different sections and adjust as we go. 
I probably won't have to adjust much, but if we do, it's there to be adjusted. First up, I do a high pass filter. I work from left to right. I work from the lows to the highs. Just the way I work, everyone's different. I like to roll off around 40. I keep the shelf kind of middle of the road, not too crazy of a steep thing like, like that. I keep it around 24, at least for this. I felt like it was the right angle in which to go with. And of course, it could change, and it does change over time. It even changed for this one, which we'll get into in a little bit. Now, this is to take off the edge of the low end. Let's see how we hear the difference. In a kingdom by the sea, that a maiden there lived whom you may know by the name of Annabel Lee. And this maiden, she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. So you could see or hear the fact that it takes a little bit of the edge off. It's not too crazy, but it takes the edge off of that low end, a little bit of the rumbles. And it could take some of the rumbles out of a room. Maybe if your room is not that treated or whatever it may be, you might need to give it a little more oomph on the low cutoff. But for me, I like it around 40. If you get closer, you get to 80, the more of a chance you have of losing details that you might want. So keep that in mind. Next up, we're going to go one through four. Five, Yeah, one through five, and then do the low pass. So two, we got 100 hertz, 2.2 decibels increase. A year ago, in a kingdom by the sea, that a maiden there lived whom you may know by the name of Annabel Lee. And this maiden she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. So you're noticing a little bit of oomph on that low end, a little more presence in my voice, a little more like pushing forward into the performance. Next up, we got two and three, which is at 500 and at 750. And these are the ones that I uh, use to scoop out some of the muddiness. As you can see here, and you may have noticed before, I took the two off and I did do it differently in the other one, which I'll show you in a once I'm done with this. And I had them both on. But then I was like, let's make it a full valley. Rather than the two valleys, I made it one. And split the difference. It was at 500 and 1,000. So I went to 750, split the difference, and gave it a bit of a wider belly. I made the Q at a half. So this Q here is the width. So the higher it is, the more narrow it is and hones in on a specific frequency. The wider it is, it widens the amount of frequencies that are being affected. Now, in this case, it's not that much of an effect, but it is enough to make a difference, at least in my mind. And if you're wearing headphones, which you should be, uh, you should notice a slight difference. So let's go into this. By the sea, that a maiden there lived whom you may know by the name of Annabel Lee. And this maiden, she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. A little bit of muddiness there in my voice, a little bit of nasally thing going on. Uh, maybe even deviated septum related, I don't know. But it definitely takes off the edge of that as well. This is just to take the edge off. It's not to take any specific things out. If you're looking for a certain style, of course you can do that, but for this particular thing, we're just making slight adjustments. The next two are for presence boost in the traditional sense. Presence could be anywhere in the low end or the high end, but traditionally when you say presence boost, it means high end. So we have one at 2800 and one at 18, uh, 8800, I should say. In a kingdom by the sea, that a maiden there lived whom you may know by the name of Annabel Lee. And this maiden, she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. So you notice that it it kind of adds a little bit of texture and a little sparkliness up top and a little more detail. I was a child and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea. But we loved with a love that was more than love. I and my Annabelle Lee. With a love that was winged seraphs of heaven, coveted her and me. And this was the reason that, long ago, in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud, chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee. So you notice that it's a slight 
boost in those detailed sections. Uh, maybe I can adjust them a little bit further, but I kind of like the way that it sounds and it gave a little more texture in that high end. I have a lower voice, so you try to give more uh, emphasis in that high end, meaning uh, I have two separate sections of boost there. I could split the difference like I did in the mids here, but I like the way that it sounds here. The last thing we're going to do is the low pass filter or high cut filter where it takes kind of those airy kind of breaths and like the edge off. I keep saying that. Take the edge off. So we're going to put that on and it's at 17,000 hertz or 17 kilohertz. I was a child and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea. But we loved with a love that was more than love. I and my Annabelle Lee. With a love that was winged seraphs of heaven, coveted her and me. And this was the reason that, long ago, in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud, chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee. So it kind of takes the edge off of those breaths and the high end, that airy kind of ness. So uh, that's a technical term. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so now what we're going to do is do a a B test of the whole thing I'm gonna do half and half or periodically turn it on and off the whole thing many and many year ago in a kingdom by the sea that a maiden there lived whom you may know by the name of Annabel Lee and this maiden she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me I was a child and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea. But we loved with a love that was more than love. I and my Annabelle Lee. All right, so you notice that there is a difference. It, it no, You notice that there's specific sections that were emphasized, taken away, and just to clean it up. And of course, this is not perfect. This is something I threw together. And if I took a day or so to figure it out or adjust it, I could maybe make it a little bit better, but I could also over edit, which is something that I deal with a lot and uh, I have to tame myself from doing and everyone usually gets to gets to that point or sometimes don't even get over it. Uh, you always want to do a little bit more because you're hunting perfection, which unfortunately perfection in, in art is not usually attainable. Sometimes it is depending on the person. It You might think something is perfect and another person might not think it's perfect. So keep that all in mind. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go over the EQ on the Five Nights at Freddy's thing, the thing that I did during my live stream. So you can notice the difference here. You notice that there's a 50 hertz here and 18 decibel of the shelf here. Uh, one and a half on here compared to the 2.2, negative 2 on this and negative 2 on this, both here rather than the belly here. We have two valleys. Then we got 3,000 and 8,500, pretty much the same kind of boosts, and the low pass at 18,000 rather than the 17. So let's listen to it. We'll do a quick run through, not as crazy as the one before, but we're going to do a quick run through of everything. Charlie got out of bed and looked at the clock. It was 10 a.m. She looked out at the window, out the window, at the bright new day. She had slept worse than usual. Not nightmares, but dark dreams she could not quite remember. Things that stuck with her just beyond the back of her mind. Imagine images she could not catch. All right, so definitely some texture there added on on the high end. You took a little bit of, I took a little bit of the muddiness out. And between the two of these, which I'll pull up both one more time. We have the Edgar Allan Poe one right here and the Five Nights at Freddy's one right here. I might post a picture of them. I don't know if you are interested in a picture of these or you just want to copy and paste this as a template. I can't guarantee that it's going to work for everyone's voice. This is what I feel for my voice, at least for the right now. I might change it. I might come back to it at a later date, maybe during a live stream, and try to see if I hear it a little differently. But try different things use this as a template this can be completely wrong or it could be perfect it, it and somewhere in between 
use it as a guide and use you have all these default options as well in adobe and and in other places you have default options this is just one of many default options and templates you can use just to guide yourself into the right place that you're looking for so that all being said thank you all for watching hope you all enjoyed it hope you learned something with this one and i hope that it's uh helpful as a template i'm not trying to give you guys the exact answer uh because i can't uh, unless i have the audio samples that you want critiqued or want adjusted I can't do it specifically, but this is a good template to go off of. This is a good way to start. And if you want to start from scratch, the best way I could say it is go from low end to high end because it, it just makes sense to me. It starts it off and it gets it. You get little bits and pieces. And then when you do the A-B test at the end, you can adjust it and fine tune it the way you want, the way they interact with each other, just like if you were mixing an album. And uh, yeah, this was a fun one. This uh, I had fun with the uh, stream and uh just messing around with things i like doing this kind of stuff and hopefully one day i could get back into doing it professionally but we'll see we'll see what happens uh if you want any help let me know the discord's available we could transfer files and things like that as well if you have any questions comments or anything whatsoever down in the comment section all i ask is you be nice uh let's have discussions let's not have arguments that's all i ask and uh if you want to see my stream Mondays and Fridays, at least until the end of June, last week of June, until the last week of June, because then I got a job. I'm going to be gone for like a week and a half, two weeks, uh, where I won't be able to be streaming. So, yeah. And, yeah, if you like the video, please hit the like button. It's a really big help. It helps me in the YouTube algorithm. It recommends this channel and hopefully brings in good people. If you're a good person... Join the community. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool community. Hit the subscribe button. It, it would mean a lot. It really would. We're well on our way to 2,000 subscribers. And I'm very excited for this channel to grow a little bit more. I know I haven't uh, posted a lot lately. Uh, life has been kind of crazy. And I just kind of had some... Just in my own head. Trying to get myself back in order. And trying to uh, get my life a little bit more organized. But that's just me. Personal issues which I'm trying to fix with video games and getting my mind off of it, watching baseball, and yeah, mental health. Take care of yourself mentally. I'm rambling. All right, until next time, everyone take care, and I'll see you, Rebels, in the next video.